Okay, today we're going to be soldering 2mm bullet connectors, which are usually used on ESCs and motors. I'm soldering them onto an Emacs motor. It really helps if you drill a piece of wood with a 2mm hole to hold a connector, since they're really small and it also won't conduct the heat away as you solder. So, grab your soldering iron and apply a small amount of solder to the tip. This helps the heat conduct far more easily and you should be doing this with any soldering job. Apply the soldering iron to the connector to heat it up and after a second or two you should be able to fill it with the solder. Do this about three quarters full. Keeping the heat on the connector, take one of the bare wires from your motor and drop it into the molten solder. Now, these Emacs motor wires come pre-tinned but if yours don't then you should really tin them before doing this. Keep the heat on the connector for another couple of seconds to ensure a good soldered joint, keeping the wire as still as you can. It won't take long to cool, so when it has, just check the joint and then we can move on to finishing the connector with heat shrink. Ok, the next job is to measure how much heat shrink you're going to need. Most heat shrink shrinks down up to a third of its starting diameter and also a little bit lengthwise. The heat shrink needs to cover as much of the connector as possible without stopping the opposite connector from going on. It also needs to cover any bare wire and a few more millimetres on top of that. I'm using 1 8 inch diameter heat shrink and it looks like a 10 millimetre length should do the job nicely. Use a heat gun or a hair dryer to heat up the heat shrink. It won't take much before it starts shrinking. Try to apply the heat evenly and not too directly or else it'll start to bubble. You can readjust the heat shrink if it comes out of place as you're heating it so long as you move it before it shrinks too much. And that's basically it. Finish off the rest of your connectors and your motor is now ready to be installed on your model. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please click on the subscribe button below.